Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. Merry Christmas! I'm so excited it's Christmas. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I just wanted to put this video out so we can talk a little bit about Resi Blast. I actually get this question a lot. What does Resi Blast do? And so um, I'm going to actually show you guys in this video what it does, but I'm also going to show you what happens and um, how to prevent certain things after you use the Resi Blast. So when you're using the Resi Blast, this type of stuff happens. It forces the resin to separate and no matter how much resin you're piling on top, it's still going to force that resin to separate. And so something that is extremely important is to have a second layer, a very first initial layer, I guess, underneath your piece. So you can't see anything except the edge because these were really crappy things to do. You can see how they come up on the sides. Um, so you want to make sure that you have something underneath. So at the beginning of this video, I talk, I show the first layer. It's just a simple mix of colors that I just sort of threw on here. But anywhere that I put my Resi Blast, you can't tell. Now look at the reflection of the light and see how bumpy that is. That's everywhere that I had the Resi Blast. So it's a lot of different locations. In order to get that off, you have to clean your piece after it's cured. So what you would want to do is take alcohol, 91% isopropyl alcohol, and then just clean it off. Then you want to sand it, clean it again with isopropyl alcohol, and then you can pour a clear layer on top and that should give you the perfect, nice glass clean finish. Okay. So you're probably going to end up having about three layers. Now, this one, because I did not put my base layer down, you can see all of this. Um, you can actually see like, especially right there, you can look and you can see so many parts where it just goes down and you can see that silver. If that is the look that you're going for, perfect. But if that is not the look that you're going for, then you definitely need to do a second art on top of this after you do your cleaning, after you do your sanding, and after you do your cleaning again, then you can do your second art. Um, now, if this is used as a platter, you wanna make sure that you're doing more than just one more layer if you're mixing you know, pigments and things like that. Now, when you're using Resi Blast, it is, I thought, very expensive, but actually it's not because you only need a little dot. All you're gonna do is take, oh, my toothpick is over here. You're gonna take a toothpick and you're just gonna put a little dot, whoop, and it's coming out the side there, a little dot on top, and I don't even want that much. So look how little this is. See if I can get this to focus. Just a little bit. And you're just going to poke that into your piece. Now, when it starts to not spread, because the resin starts to get thicker, you wanna take something like this, which is a parchment paper. Um, I just cut it up, tore it up, doesn't matter. And then you're gonna use that to drag what sits on top of your resin and you're gonna drag that through. And that's going to force your resin to separate. Um, and then it does leave a lot of residue. I don't know if you guys can see that with the reflection there. Oh, kind of. That's where my residue is. And so you want to make sure that you're cleaning really, really good. Because that's, that's a very important part if you're putting a second layer. Um, but I personally just prefer having some type of solid color underneath. If you are doing this on coasters, beware because your resin is going to be very thin, so it will show the coasters. But if you're doing it on something like this, I actually was able to use the Resi Blast in the middle because it was thick enough. If it is thick enough, you don't have issues with it showing underneath. If it is not thick enough, this is what's gonna happen. No matter what I did, I could not make this part thick enough because it is not leveled and wants to come in. See that little, so it just kept draining down. And so this part was thick enough. There's Resi Blast all throughout here and you cannot see the silver underneath this part, but starting to get up here, you can see the silver. Okay, so that's just a really important 
thing to do when you're working with resi blasts is know that you should have toothpicks, you should have parchment paper to swipe it throughout, um, and then your best hope is to have extra resin and piling it on top. If it's thick enough, it should work, but if you're working on something like coasters, it's not gonna be thick, thick enough and you need to have a base layer. Um, it still covers with resin, this is still resin, but it's just going to make it transparent and force all those colors to separate, okay? Now, I'm pretty sure I covered everything. The only other thing that I did was I did mix some alcohol in one of these little Orbeez things, um, alcohol and some of the Resi Blast. I put about 10 drops in this little thing. And what that did was it just sort of created some micro cells versus the big cells. So that's another way that you can go about using your Resi Blast. Just know that when you do that, it does make the Resi Blast harder to expand after, and that is shown in the video, and that's when I had to start using my parchment paper. So just make sure you have all your materials ready, so that way you're ready to work with anything that comes your way. And I do recommend having extra resin. If you do have extra resin, you can always get extra coasters, and then have coasters ready to do uh, with anything that does not go on your art piece. So if there were any questions about it that I did not answer, please put them in the comments below. And then for discounts, this I get from Resin Art Shop. So that's under my Patty's Pigments discount. Um, so if you guys are interested in any of the pigments that I use or the resin I use, the stone coat, all those discounts are below. But that's it for me, you guys, today. I'm going to enjoy Christmas with my family. I hope you do the same and have a fantastic 2019 because it is coming up. Let's set those goals and reach them. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Merry Christmas. It's white outside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air that every child got their hearts filled up with joy Yes, it's Christmas all around All snow is falling